delivers your truth. You promise two of your girlfriends that you're going to go on a vacation with them, but now you're in this deep, silent place, and it's like, you know what? I'm sorry, I know I promised you we're going to go to this resort for a week. We bought the tickets and everything, but I want to follow my truth, and my truth tells me to stay here. I want to stay here and go to this retreat with Zarathustra and my other brothers sisters. This is my truth. Then in that moment, you do what your truth tells you. It's tuning into this. Everything starts to get tuned into. The force is pulling you. Her Majesty, the love of God, is bringing you in there. But in the meantime, you're also denying distractions that has kept you into a world of illusion for thousands of years. And now you're in this final place. You cannot afford not paying attention. If you want to cross this river to fifth dimension, if you want to come to this other dimension, you cannot not pay attention and make that your focal point. You've come a long way. It doesn't matter how long you've been in these teachings, with me or with anybody, or you're new to it. I just started doing this. Yeah, but you don't know all the years before that, all the stuff you've gone through that prepared you for this. Now you're here. You have to feel the urgency of the moment. That this is my opportunity for this quantum leap into the fifth dimensional consciousness, which is a consciousness, a oneness. But what is the consciousness of oneness? What is being one? Those of you who've been with me, you have heard me saying that at one point in your spiritual evolution you have to go beyond what is good and what is bad. You have to elevate beyond what is good and what is bad. I know the spiritual warrior the spiritual seeker only wants the goodies. I only want to be in Christ consciousness and just feel the bliss and light and angels and everything. But that's also a hindrance. You don't realize that God is also dark. You think God is only light. And that's not true. God is also dark. That's why you have darkness in you. The final stages of self-realization in order to, to rise above all of it is the recognition of when you say, I am one, means you're also one with Adolf Hitler. Oneness means the goodies, all the light and all the dark. Oneness doesn't mean that it's only the angels and it's all lovey-dovey and peaches and cream. Oneness means the filth, the dark, the betray, the killing, the raping, 
the ugliness is also you. You are all of it, not just one part. If you want to be liberated and go the next level to freedom, you also have to recognize who you are. One of the most incredible spiritual books I would that was presented to me by my beloved best friend, Guru Master Ernest Middleton, this beautiful angel that came to my life in a very pivotal point that I was very depressed and ready to commit suicide. And he appears, this beautiful black man with dreadlocks that to this day is my best friend, my brother, and my teacher, even though he's not in, in this world anymore physically, presents me with this book. It was the first book I got from Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh, Osho, the infamous guru. And it was like, I think the title was The Way, to the, the Way of the Heart or the journey of the heart. I don't quite remember the title. This is long time ago. And my brother Ernie had a way of presenting spiritual things to me. He would never push it. He would just leave the book. He just left the book in my apartment on my bed. So the book is sitting on a bed. He would never come and say, read this, or you should read this, or you should do that. He would just leave it there. He had his way. And I pick up the book. I open it. This is the ever first book I ever got from Osho. I open the book. I open the first page, and it says, I am all there is beautiful. I am all there is ugly. I am total. I read this sentence and in that moment the cosmic force punched me in my third eye as if literally somebody landed a punch right here in my third eye. I read this and I'm still a baby. This is the beginning of me waking up. This is a long time ago. And I poof, got punched in my third eye. And I literally, luckily I was standing right in front of my bed. And I fell on my bed. I fell down. I am all there is beautiful. I am all there is ugly. I am total. Years and years after waking up and slowly, slowly starting to realize my light and my darkness, realizing all of it is in me. And when I say I am one, means I'm also one with Donald Trump. I am one with Hitler. I am one with Saddam Hussein. I am one with Chinggis Khan. I am one with COVID-19. I am one with all of it. Oneness means everything is included. 